Right guys, welcome back to another uh, video in this Scottish Football 2008 Football Manager series in five years where we basically just select the number of clubs and we check out how they have did five years into the future of Scottish football. We've covered a lot of teams so far. We've only covered one championship team though, that was St Mirren. Well today that changes because we're going to be covering Dundee United. Dundee United, big club in Scotland, unfortunately, last couple of years. They've um, went down, they've slid down the um, divisions, so now they're in the championship. They've been known for providing a lot of youth talent, have a very good youth setup. Let's see if they can repeat that in this year's game, and will they begin to get maybe back into the Premiership, and maybe challenging for a top six. Can Dundee United do it? Let's find out. So, their first season, bringing in David Templeton on loan. Calvin Muller on loan for Celtic, which I think will be a good signing for them. And some freebies, including Nick Ross, Dan Seaburn, and Graham Smith. Um, not really sold anyone. They've loaned a bunch of players out and sold a few couple of players, but nobody really amounting to anything. So not much changing. Basically, the same Dundee United squad with a few additions, loanee additions. Will they do good? Can they get promoted back to the yeah, Premiership? Let's find out. Well, it's a no. Unfortunately, Dundee United, first season, they can't do it. They've ended up finishing third in the league, which is not, it's not disastrous, you know, it's not abysmal. But I do think Dundee United would have been looking to get back into the top flight here. And they haven't managed to do it. They've finished third behind St Mirren and Dunfermline. And, I mean, that's all I can say, really. They only lost six games. They lost the least amount of games in the league, which is impressive. But... Unfortunately, they could only manage 15 wins, drawing a shitload of games, drawing the same amount of games as they won, and that, in reality, that is what's cost them promotion. If they could have just, if they could have turned like half of their draws into wins, they would have, would have won the league easily, but just couldn't do it. They finished third. Let's see, did they have a good cup run? Maybe a good cup run, though, will, you know, fix their season. We'll see. Right, well, they did pretty well in the Betfred Cup, advancing through the group stage with four wins, including a win against Premiership team Ross County, Joe Piggott getting both goals for Dundee United. But uh, the Betfred Cup didn't last, their journey didn't last much longer than that, losing to Rangers in the second round. Archie Thomas got the goal, but Rangers, Oliver McBurney, Jack Adamson and Calvin McLennan cancelled out that goal, giving Rangers a 3-1 win. Iron Brew Cup, though, looks to be doing pretty good for Dundee United. They've got into the fifth round at the moment, beating St Mirren in the quarterfinals, which is a pretty good win there. St Mirren, the Championship League winners. Um, holy crap! Look at this in the Championship. It's a shitload of games in a row without losing. But like I said, look at it. there's five draws in a row. It's just it's a, it's those draws that have cost Dundee United in the league this season. Unfortunately for them, Scottish Cup fourth round they lost to Morton. Goals from Bob McHugh putting. Dundee United out, and in the Iron Brew Cup semi-final, they lost to Livingston 3-3, going out on penalties, so, they go Dundee United not having the most successful season, finishing third, Betfred Cup lost in the second round, Scottish Cup lost in the fourth round, Iron Brew Cup lost in the semi-final, and they'll be disappointed, because I think games against Morton and Livingston, they probably believe they should have won those games, they didn't though, and that means they will um, not be going to, you know, not be doing anything. So, here we see Ladbrokes Championship playoff. I forgot. Oh, shit. I totally forgot it was a playoff. So, even though they finished third, they still had a chance to go up, but they didn't go up. They lost both the legs to Dunfermline 2 0 and 2 1. So, 4 1 in aggregate to Dunfermline. That's pretty poor. So, a season to forget for Dundee United. Let's see what signings they've brought in going into year two and can they improve on this. Alright, so this doesn't look too good for Dundee United. 875k they have uh, left out the club, so bringing in a lot of money here. Well, first we'll cover the players they've brought in, though. Basically, a lot of frees here, not really paying money for anybody. Brought in Nicky Maynard on loan for Aberdeen. Um, brought in Na former player Nadia Schiffsy on loan for Celtic. That's a decent loan signing, but apart from that, not a lot happening here. And who have they got rid of? Fraser Fivey, he's went to Hearts for 100k. Billy King, he's left, so Dundee United losing a lot of their better players here. 
Um, Louis Toshney went to Kilmarnock for 9.5. Paul McMullen going to Hibernian. Probably the key player going to Hibernian for 700k. So Dundee United struggling here. I'll be honest, losing five, uh, Fraser Fivey, Billy King, um, Paul McMullen and a bunch of other players. They did manage to get Nicky Maynard and uh, Nadia Shifty on loan, which are good attacking options. But overall, I can see Dundee United struggling this season in the championship and I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go up. Oh well, I was talking absolute shite because they did go up. Dundee United finishing first in the league this time in their second season. Finishing in front of their local rivals at Dundee by 11 points. So good season from Dundee United. They did lose a lot of their talent but that doesn't matter. They're up into the Premiership next season. Be interesting to see how they got on. I'm sure they'll need to add a lot of depth to the squad I think. They'll have to spend a bit of money because I, just, I don't think their current squad's good enough to be honest, to survive in the Scottish Premiership. So I do think they're going to have to make massive changes. But before we find out what happened in Season 3, let's check out how Dundee United got on in their domestic cups and see if they could add any silverware to the trophy cabinet. Alright, so they managed to win three out of their four Betfred Cup games, but that wasn't enough to get them into the uh, knockout stage. So Dundee United's Betfred Cup journey this year ending in the group stage. Disappointing for them. And in the Iron Brew Cup, they lost in the f lowest possible... Wait, they lost to the Hamlet in under-20s? Um, on... Oh yeah, because I think the top teams can play their under-20 squad in the Iron Brew Cup. That's how it works, I believe, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> Dundee United's actual team, their proper team, their adult team, lost to Hamlet's under-20 team. That must be a hard uh, pill to swallow. That's fucking shocking. But you can see their league form is pretty good. And very good, actually. Scottish Cup 4th round, they beat Hamilton 3-2, which is a decent win. Goals with Paul McGowan, Nadia Shifshi and Nick Ross. But in the 5th round, they lost to Rangers at Tannadice. You know, goal for Scott Fraser, but Rangers at Matthew Kennedy and Cameron Dummigan cancelled that out. And Rangers have knocked Dundee United out of the Scottish Cup in the 5th round. But then Dundee United, look at that, put on a great run of form towards the end of the season. That's probably what won them the league. Because I imagine, I don't think their form was that great, you know, up until this Rangers game. So, for to go undefeated, the, the rest of the league from the 23rd of February is very good. And, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it would have been very close between them and Dundee at this stage. But, they got the job done. They've won the league. They didn't really do it in the Cups. But, I'm pretty sure if you'd have offered Dundee United just to get promoted back to the Premiership at the start of the season, they would have took it. So let's go and see how they're going to do in the third season. Will they make any transfers? And can they compete in the Scottish Premiership? Alright, well they've did exactly what I thought they'd need to do. And they have spent money, 550k, while hardly selling anybody. So in terms of money in, they've got 546k money outgoing, 550k. So spent a lot of money, and will it help them? Well, you can see they brought in John McLaughlin from Hearts, 51k. Mark Russell for Morton, 60k. Mark McNulty for Hibernian, 57k. Brought in Ewan Henderson on loan for Hearts. Kieran Freeman for Southampton. You think he's going to be a very good player. Brought him on loan. Uh, who else have they got here? Let's see. Denny Johnson, 105k. Ross Matthews, 125k. A lot of... A, Dundee United, they've spent a lot of money here. And rather than, you know, maybe just bringing in two or three players, they've decided to fucking basically change the whole squad so will be interesting to see what kind of impact this has on the club and who have they got rid of here not a lot they've got rid of Joe Piggott he's probably the only noticeable person that's left a lot of others just leaving on a loan or a few players here leaving on a free so Dundee United they've did what I think they had to do improve the squad whether they've made the right signings or not I'm not totally convinced I think McLaughlin I think he's a talented keeper um, Kieran Freeman, he's a very good uh, right slash left back, good full back, but whether the rest of the players are up to the Scottish Premiership standard, I'm not quite sure. Could just be a case of Dundee United overpaying. Let's find out. Well, it looks like the signings did just enough to keep Dundee United in the Premier League on their first time back, and they managed to finish 11th, 9 points in front of Ross County, with a tally of 41. I guess that's not bad. 10 wins, 11 draws, 17 losses. Now it looks like Ross County were the whipping boys of the division, but Dundee United 
11th place, I think they'll be happy with that. That's not where they want to be long term, but I think just to get back into the Scottish Premiership, not to go straight back down, because that's probably the most difficult thing to do. Once you get promoted, it's pro the difficult thing to do is stay in the division. Once you can establish yourself as a Premiership team, I'm not saying it's easy, but it kind of is easier, you know, but it's, it's very hard to get up, because you're used to playing it's a totally different level of football, so to go from one level to another and to be able to raise your game to stay in that level, it's easier said than done. So Dundee United managed to do it. That's good for them. Let's see how they got on in the Cups now. Better team, um, better squad, playing against higher opposition. Will it help them bring in silverware? Well, this time at least they got out of the Betfred Cup group, including a win over Aberdeen, which is very good. Tony Dingwall getting the goal for Dundee United. Then they beat Ayr in the second round before losing to Dundee in the quarter final. Disappointing for them. Remember, they will not be in the Iron Brew Cup this year due to being in the Premiership, so that's one less competition to enter. Uh, look at some results here. So they actually beat they beat Celtic at Celtic Park and they beat Rangers at Ibrox. Denny Johnson getting a 1-0 win. His goal getting Dundee United a 1-0 win over Rangers. Rangers down to 10 men. And in the Celtic game, the goals for Paul Quinn and Ewan Henderson on loan for Hearts gave them a 2-1 win over Celtic. Celtic's Jurgen Locadia getting the goal for them, so that's impressive stuff there, picking up wins at Celtic Park and Ibrox in their first season back in the Premiership. And they also beat Rangers in at home at Tannadice in the Scottish Cup fourth round, so very impressive stuff here from Dundee United. Goals for Matty Smith and Denny Johnson. Alfredo Morelos got a goal for Rangers, but it was nothing more than a constellation. Uh, Scottish Cup 5th round managed to beat Aberd eh, not Aberdeen, Airdrie advanced into the quarters before losing to Partick Thistle unfortunately, so that is the end of their Scottish Cup run and then you can see they finished the season obviously in the Ladbrokes Premiership relegation, they had to play the Ladbrokes Premiership playoff final against Kilmarnock and they managed to win that one 3-2 and get they lost the first leg at Rugby Park, Nick Ross getting the goal but uh, at Tannadice, they brought it back. Goals, two goals for James Keaton. So he scored in the 56th minute. It ended at 1-0. It went into overtime, or extra time, as you want, whatever you want to call it. doesn't really matter. And then he converted a penalty in the 113th minute to keep Dundee United in the Ladbrokes Premiership. Good stuff. Good stuff from Dundee United. I think they'll struggle. I, I do think they'll struggle next season unless they make significant uh, changes to their squad. Will they spend more money in Season 4? Let's see. Alright, well they've managed to spend more money on players than they have sold, but at the same time it's not really a lot, 300k, and there's not many noticeable players they've brought in, spent 75k on Stephen, McGu uh, Stephen McGinn, brought in a bunch of players on a free and loan, brought in Scott Cuthbert for Oxford, Craig Curran for Aberdeen, um, but yeah, <laughs> not <laughs> the quality that Dundee United have brought in here, I'll be honest, it's not great. And I think they're going to struggle this season. The good news is they didn't really lose any key players. But I just don't think the players they brought in are going to do enough. I really don't. We'll find out. But I don't think it's looking good for Dundee United. And unfortunately I was right. Dundee United again. They did manage to finish 11th. But this time they couldn't win the relegation playoff. And they have been relegated back down to the championship. They did manage to finish in front of their rivals Dundee, but I'm sure that will be a very, 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 very small constellation. And the, the, compared to how they did, it was just, I know they finished 11th same as last season, but just much, much more poor. Look at that, only seven wins. Well, they did beat Dundee all four games, so I mean, that's something, I guess. I mean, that, that's kind of crazy. They managed to beat their rivals in all four of the Dundee derbies. Apart from that, though, they could only manage three other wins. One of them was against Rangers at Tannadice, the other two against Dunfermline and Mullerwell. The worst goal difference in the league also, with 31 go uh, against. And that is very, very poor there from Dundee United, and that does see them sadly go back down to the Championship. But, unless you get into the Premiership and you're willing to invest money, improve the squad, what can you expect? You have to remember that the other teams are performing well in Europe, the Scottish coefficient is going up, therefore the Scottish Premiership in general, the quality is going up. So 
teams getting promoted now from the championship, they're going to find it more difficult than ever, really, because the come up against it's more difficult. The teams in the Scottish Premiership are just harder. They've got better squads now because they're spending more money because there's more money in Scottish football. So, uh, uh, difficult for Dundee. We'll find out how they did. Did they have any decent cup runs? Let's see. Again here, they didn't even get out of the Betfred Cup group stage. And for some uh, some reason, they only had four teams in their group. What the fuck? Let's see. Yeah, so... Is that all it is? I thought some groups have five. Not quite sure. No, I'm pretty... Yeah, I think some groups have five. Some groups have four. But uh, yeah, Dundee didn't get out of the group stage. They managed to beat Arbroath in East Fife, but they lost to Rafe Rovers. And he didn't really start the league. Well, they did, they did all right. Like, I mean, after five games, they two of their wins. So they managed to beat Mullerwell and Dunfermline. And then they only got five more wins after that. And see, it was just wins against Dundee, really, that kept them off the bottom of the table. Scottish Cup fourth round. They lost to St Mirren. Very disappointing there. Craig Morrison getting the goals. That gave St Mirren the win. Kyle Jacobs got a goal with ten minutes to go. But it wasn't enough to get them back in the game. And that form's just very, very poor. Good win against Rangers. Uh, Mark McNulty getting the winner there. Six minutes. And B Botte Bia Baia got sent off. 22 minutes for time and they've still managed to hang on. So very good there from Dundee United. And in the Ladbrokes Premiership relegation uh, leg, it was Ross County that managed to beat them. 3-1 in aggregate. They lost the first game in Dingwall to Ross County. And they could only manage a draw at Tanadice. They managed to score in the first minute as well, so... Uh, that would give them a lot of hope. They'd still 89 minutes to get a second goal, but they couldn't find it. And then it was Danny Finlayson that really finished Dundee United's hopes and dreams of staying in the Premiership. So there you go, guys. That is the fourth season with Dundee United over with. They're going back down to the Championship. Will they lose a lot of their key players? I've seen this happen. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Uh, let's go and see how the transfers work for them here. And yeah, you can see a lot of players leaving here. 300k. They've managed to bring in Botta Bia's left. A lot of players have left on loan. Denny Johnson's left. Kai McLean is left. Joe Chalmers is left. So Dundee United losing a lot of players here. And who have they brought in? Not much. Some players on loan. Uh, some players on a free. Harry Car Cardwell seems to be the main guy. They've brought in 77k from Aberdeen. Uh, he looks to be decent. Will he help them this season? Can he get them back promoted to the Premiership? Let's find out. No, they can't. Dundee United brought back down to reality with a bang. Finishing fifth in the Ladbrokes Championship. Very disappointing. Only 53 points. Nowhere near getting promoted. And to make things worse, it was actually their rivals, Dundee, getting automatic promotion back to the Premiership. Very disappointing season there for Dundee United, but I was kind of expecting it. So it's Morton that win. Kilmarnock second. Dundee finished third, but Dundee managing to get promoted even though they finished third. So strange. I kind of like how the playoff system works now in Scottish football because it gives more teams in the league a chance to compete for something. You know, so it's not just about finishing first or finishing second. You know, even if you finish third or fourth, you still got a chance of getting promoted, albeit you have to play more games. But yeah, disappointing there for Dundee United. Let's see how they got on though. In the uh, Cups, they'll be re-entering the Iron Brew Cup again, so it'll be interesting to see can they go far in that. Again, they can see more disappointment in the Betfred Cup. They failed to get out of the group. Uh, losing to Ayr. They did beat East Fife and East Stirlingshire, but didn't get out of the group, so very disappointing. And they started the championship with three defeats, which certainly didn't help them. Iron Brew Cup, third round, they beat Senna's Muir. Fourth round, they beat Kilmarnock, which is a decent win. Three now as well. Very good win. Iron Brew Cup quarterfinal, they beat Morton. Then they had a good run there in the league. and see won five games in a row, which I'm pretty sure helped them after a disastrous start. Uh, the Scottish Cup fourth round, they've lost to Dunfermline. Iron Brew Cup semi final, they went, they beat four far away, so they're going to make a cup final here. I suppose that is the only thing that could save their season. Uh, Iron Brew Cup, I don't think it's going to, you know, right the wrongs everything, but it would be a start if they can win that. And they did win it, a 3 0 win at uh, East End Park against. Who did they beat? Dumbart Livingston, so yeah, they go at Dundee United, five years into the save, and they've finally won something, the Iron Brew Cup, yes, it's not really, it's not as good as winning the Betfred Cup or the Scottish Cup, but at the end of the day, Cup's a Cup, it is a piece of silverware, and at least that is something they take out of this very poor season. 
So guys, that is it then for this five years into the future with Dundee United. We'll check what the current squad looks like, what the manager movements were like, and then that will do us. So let's see here. How did they go on in terms of managers? Last low got sacked. Uh, Steve, Jim McIntyre took over for three years, and then he got sacked. So it looks like getting relegated. Yeah, getting relegated is probably the thing that got him the sack there. I think that's kind of harsh, but I guess... Dundee United want to go one direction, and that is forward, not back. So Alex Ray now, former Rangers man. I believe he played for Dundee. You know, played for Dundee as well. Not uh, Dundee United. I think he played for Dundee. Or uh, yeah, he did play for Dundee. So uh, there you go, man. Dun uh, Dundee United. Uh, Dundee player managing Dundee United. I don't know how the fans will feel about that. But if he does well. I'm sure they won't really care. I wouldn't really call his first season in the league well, but he did win on the Cup, the Iron Brew Cup, so uh, give him a bit of credit. Maybe we'll see how he gets on in the future. And what's the Dundee United squad looking like? Let's have a quick look here. Uh, so they've got, they've got a £1 million rated player, Scott Allardyce. That's good. And then they've got James Keaton, Kyle Jacobs, worth a decent amount. And then Scott Fraser is their fourth player that is over 100k, over three figures. So that's pretty decent, I guess. Decent squad there. Should be looking to try and get promoted next season back into the Premiership. And we'll find out how Dundee United do next time when we're covering the 10 years into Scottish football. But as for the five-year experiment, if there's any other teams you want me to do, let me know down below and I will add them to the list. But as of right now, as for Dundee United, this, this video is coming to an end. They've had their ups and downs, their fair shares of success and failure. They've finished the, uh, the five years with a promotion, a relegation, and an Iron Brew Cup win. Decent, but not exactly what they would have wanted. Until next time, guys. Peace.